Hello there, welcome back to the channel. This is the part four of .NET Core Microservices with ABP. We are going to see how to set up the identity service in this video. Let's get started. In the last video, we saw how to set up the um, administration service. Now let's focus on identity service. So um, as you can see here, the identity service has the similar architecture. We have a host file and the ABP modules which is properly layered in domain driven design. What we are going to do is kind of similar to what we did in the administration service. We will set up the identity service and then make sure we can build it and then run it and then see if it's properly running. It, that includes creating the DP migration and configuring the identity service and the identity server related um, DB contexts as well. To follow along, I have the blog post. So the first step uh, is to uh, add the project, the chat project reference. Uh, before that, uh, I will uh, try to build and then uh, it will show probably all the errors. Okay, so let's see what are the errors I have. Here I have a host project, which is not necessary anymore. Okay, and then I will come to dependency and add share.hosting as a dependency. And um, like we did in the um, administration service, I will clean out all these things. And then just if you look at what we did in the administration service, it's just copy this and do the same thing here. So we are saying most of the modules are coming from the hosting and this is configured in the administration so, sorry in the shared so remove that we can also get rid of these things we will leave this we will also get rid of uh, the localization and leave everything else and here i will here i will fix the multi-tenancy yes we don't check uh, because uh, by default we are using multi-tenancy there is no need to check and still have a lot of unused using let's get rid of them okay so now let's go and then uh check the packages so uh, we have a lot of packages here which we actually don't need so uh and just go and then get rid of the entire section and yeah okay. um nothing is throwing any errors so the project still uh is perfectly fine you know what i think we also can get rid of all the packages here in the administration service as well i think we forgot to do that last in the last video let's do that and we still don't have any errors because most of the packages are uh, already available in the task key we don't have to again add it here i'm uh, sorry the task key host a shared hosting um yeah so, so we have the hosting uh module ready the next thing to do is to create a db context factory so this context factory will be in the entity framework core project inside the entity framework core um folder so this is where we are going to create and it's going to do similar thing uh where it will take the um, app settings from this project and then create a migration and then we will do the migration let's do that again and now let's copy and replace the DB context factory. Okay, our uh, Postgres SQL uh, is saying I couldn't find the packages. So let's copy and then add the packages here so that it will stop complaining. Okay, yes. Um, yeah, so there's no errors. It's doing the same thing, building the... Um, uh, the build configuration gets the current directory, goes back to the parent, and then from there takes the host and then uh, takes the um, app settings from here. This is where the um, connection string is available. So for that, we have to update the connection string here. So um, I will update the connection string and the database name is task key identity service. Okay, we have finished the DB context factory. And then the next step is the DB context. Uh, identity service db context so we have the identity server db context already available but right now it's just pretty pretty much empty uh can actually copy it and then paste it here you can see what i'm doing here is um this um identity service uh is the services db context identity server is coming from the identity server um module identity db context is from coming from identity module from abp and uh these tables are 
uh, the tables related to the identity and the identity server. And we are actually um, using our own DB context to create these tables. And we will also configure uh, the connection strings once this is done. Um, the next step once this is done is to configure the entity framework core module. This is where we will tell uh, to replace the DB context. So I will copy this and here is the module code. Can you say yes? So uh, we are setting the DB context to use ng SQL. This is to enable the legacy time span behavior in Postgres. And we are saying to replace the DB context of identity and identity server with identity service DB context, which is our own service DB context. And this is to add a default repository for all the entities we create inside the service. Um, yeah. So the next step is now we should be able to add the migration. So before adding the migration, just delete the entity framework project here and open the open the uh, entity framework core sorry i have to set this as startup project and open the terminal here okay once the terminal is open we can say dot net um pf migrations add in it this will build the projects and then try to add the migration okay we have build errors let's see what errors we have okay the problem seems to be coming from the identity service domain module where the permissions um management domain identity and identity server abp identity server domain is not available just this is in the domain so we have permission management domain yes so we need uh, another package here which is identity server okay it seems like the identity server package is not compatible because um, this domain project is using next standard 2.0 so to fix that uh, we have to convert this to net 6.0 um, i'm hoping this will fix the problem yes it does so uh, now if we go back to the domain module yes we have all the problems gone let's try to build again before trying to uh, do the migration and let's see what happens okay let's build it should yes the build is working so let's try to init the db migration okay the pf core migration succeeded let's go and check the migration uh come to the bottom or so that we see the tables yeah okay we have all the tables available um yeah now let's do database update okay our migration has applied now let's see uh what happens when we ran the application okay, it says the um, project identity server domain is not compatible with net 2.0 uh, so the application is okay this should be x6 okay ignore the wrapped mq um we will come back and fix that later so our application is running on this url let's go there and then see if it's actually running yes it is running and then when you try to execute it you see an internal server error because it was not able to find the permission user permission value provider the permission management is actually available in the administration service but we also need to know the permissions here in the identity service so how do we fix this the first step is uh, taking the um, identity um, administration service connection string and then pasting it in the host uh, connection string so i can uh, delete this and then okay so we updated the connection strings now the identity service knows about the uh, knows about the connection string of the administration service but still cannot use it because um there's no project reference there is no reference to this entity framework projects so let's add that uh in the dependencies add project reference we need to add uh, entity framework core uh, from the administration service as a project reference. So once you did that, you can come back to the administration, uh, sorry, in the host project, and then add administration um, EF core as a dependency here. So um, type of, um, this is the module we are looking for. So, so what we are saying is that um, when the host is launching, make sure you load um, administration service entity framework core as a dependency for identity modules. 
so that this error will not happen. So let's try to uh, run this again. Okay, our application has launched and now try to do the same thing again, query the application configuration. Now we have the application configuration working and you can go and then check out the auth policies and the settings and the current uh, user settings and the features. So um, yeah, so most of the things are here and it's working as expected. Now, if we launch the host of the administration service, um, the administration service will not know about the identity service because we didn't map that yet. So how do we tell the administration service, hey, there is this identity service and the administration service is where the permissions um, are stored that's where the features are stored. That's where the audit log is stored. Um, so how do we tell that? So to tell that, we have to add uh, identity service contract because contracts is where the permissions are defined. This is where we will also define the settings. So we have to tell um, the uh, administration service about the identity service. So to tell the identity, to tell the administration service, we will first copy the connection string uh, from the identity and paste the identity service connection string in the administration. And here we are also going to add two project references. So the first one is um, entity framework core and the second one is contracts. So uh, we are taking project contracts and the project entity framework. And uh, we will tell the administration service host that um, we, it has uh, two more dependencies. First one is identity service application contracts. And then the second one is entity framework core module. Okay. Now, if you run the administration service, okay, it's launched. And then when we check the application contract, configuration here here you will see you can see the auth policies of identity feature management and then settings management and it's the same for the settings and features so we just basically configured the administration service uh, with the permissions and the settings of identity service so this is how we add the dependencies we will do the same for our sas but when we create a new service, which is totally independent, it will be a little bit different, but that comes later. So um, I would say this is uh, pretty much it for this video. We have our administration service uh, configured properly for, and now it knows about the identity permissions and we have our identity service running without any issues. Uh, yeah, so uh, the next step would be to configure the SAS server. I will um, see you in, again in another video where we will configure um, the SAS service. To, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe so that you know uh, how to configure the SAS service. Uh, otherwise, I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.